Holy moly, whack-a-moly, it is finally time to make my first ever video in this apartment. Isn't that crazy? Bro, the past few weeks have been so crazy with like that tournament that was organized, then I had to move in, then I had to do Goldenberry orientation. So now after all that, I'm finally a little bit settled in, okay? A little bit. Kind of, <laughs> not really. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know <laughs> that like I have enough time to make videos, okay? Let's just leave it at that. I have enough time to make videos, that's all that matters. But obviously, even though we're back to making videos, like a lot of stuff has changed in my life, right? Like I no longer have my beautiful snake poster, this is so sad. My poor background, what did I ever do to deserve losing my poor background? And also a lot of things are going to change in the future, right? Because I'm going into college as a completely new experience and I don't know what's gonna happen. So I wanted to make this video to tell you guys about what I plan to do at Berkeley now that I'm here and now that I've had some time to organize myself. Hello everybody, I'm Karar and today I'm gonna be talking about what I plan to do now that I'm at college. I basically spent the last few days, like other than doing orientation stuff, I literally spent the last few days just making a massive sexy spreadsheet of all the stuff I wanna do, okay? Look at this beauty, hold on, let me pull it up for you guys. This is gonna be amazing. Look at that beauty, dude. I literally got a color code like these are the two lectures that I don't want to go to. No, I'm kidding. Well, kind of not kidding, but I got my improved lectures there too. I got my Zoom lectures in blue. Holy moly, it's beautiful. And then I got all the stuff I got to do. Honestly, my plans are kind of ambitious, but we'll see how it goes. I know that they're famous last words and I guess they are famous last words. I don't know what else to say about it. We're going to try it, okay? And if I fail miserably, let's just say I warned myself, okay? <laughs> So the way we are going to do this video is I'll first talk about the plans I have for you guys, right, the YouTube channel. Then I'm sure that's what most of you guys are interested in. And then after I am done talking about what I plan for the channel, right, then we'll talk about what I plan to do at Berkeley, just academic wise. But one last thing, before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are interested in the content. It really helps my videos get out to a larger audience and it shows me that you guys enjoy the videos, right? If you guys like the videos that you guys enjoy, then I'm going to make more of the videos that you guys like. So it's a win-win situation, let's do it. Please, I beg. Do it right now, right now. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, it is time to start off with YouTube, okay? What are we gonna do for YouTube? So first off, I'm gonna be trying to get back to my two videos a week, okay? And I've seen all of your guys' suggestions in the forum for what you guys want those videos to be. You guys want tier lists? Tier list and more tier list. Holy moly, oh, what a surprise. No, I'm kidding. Like, most of you guys want tier list, honestly, but like, a lot of you guys have asked for math crash courses or physics crash courses, and a bunch of you guys have asked for studying tips. Those are all really good suggestions, okay? And I'm actually planning on making a physics and biology tier list pretty soon. But you guys can probably tell that like I'm inching away from Olympiad and AP content since like I'm not doing Olympiad anymore. Come on, I'm at college now. And and obviously I'm not doing AP content either, right? And I basically just want to move past a lot of that stuff now that I'm in college and just move on to more fun stuff that like in college there's so many other things you can do, so I'm probably gonna be focusing more on that. But don't worry, okay? I will definitely make Olympiad problem solving content because I think that Olympiads keep my brain nice and fat, okay? That's all, well, not, not nice and fat, more like nice and buff, okay? Cause like, Olympia the brain exercise, you know what I'm saying? And I'll also make like tier list tips videos, like things that point you to resources, right? Because I think those are really helpful, right? Cause for me, I had a really hard time finding resources. So hopefully I can still make those and that, those will still be helpful to you guys. However, I will say that I am very unlikely to do like physics and math crash courses just because those take a really long time to make. And even though the AP videos are some of the most popular videos I make, like, come on, who wants to go back to AP after they've literally finished their senior year? Come on. Once you get past senior year, you're going to be like, I do not want to think about APs ever again in my life. I also feel like the Olympia crash courses that you guys want are kind of like unnecessary because there are a lot of good resources out there that are a lot better than what I could produce, like as a one man production team. And because there's so many amazing resources out there, I think the main thing I need to do is show you guys which resources to use and then you guys will be in good shape. And yes, I know that they cost money, right? Like yes, AOPS cost quite a bit of money. But even if I spent years of my life trying to create something like to replace AOPS, I would never get close to how good AOPS is, right? You're paying for something useful. So yeah, that's like basically the reason I'm not gonna do too many crash courses or anything. I will point you guys to resources, I will make problem solving content, but probably not the crash courses. So instead of doing crash courses, what I want to do is kind of focus on showing you guys more about what college really is like. Because I think when you're in high school, you really like tend to lose sight of what you're doing in the future, right? Like literally all you're thinking about is college apps, college apps, more college apps. What, what was that I was thinking about like five seconds ago? Yeah, that's right, college apps, come on. But when you actually get to college, you realize that like college apps don't even matter that much, okay? Like I literally realized that most of the nonsense I did in high school, it just doesn't matter at all. <laughs> like. Like I could show you guys my resume. Like my high school resume was like two pages. It had like a bunch of random nonsense on it. It had like newspaper. It had like 
club presidentships, they had like, I don't know, tutoring, I don't know, there was like a ton of random stuff on there. But once I got here and I wanted to apply to research opportunities, I literally had to cut that down to half and I took out most of the stuff I did in high school. Like of course, not everything you do in high school has to be applicable to college, right? You're still figuring out what you want to do, come on. Like no one expects you to do that. But also you don't want like most of your high school things to be purely focused on college apps because then you're doing stuff just for that and it's not going to be useful in the future. So essentially what all that stuff means is that I'm going to be focusing more on like vlogs, college life tips, you know, like the cool stuff that I'm learning. I don't know. And like stuff that I realize now that I'm in college. <laughs> if you guys want to see real quick, I can just show you guys some of the videos I have like in mind, right? So like for high school things, I'll definitely do a physics tier list. I'll do a biology tier list. I think I will do an SAT, ACT tips. I don't know. If you guys like that, like then let me know which of these ideas you guys like and I might do them. I might do surviving eight push. Uh, what to do now that school started, how to make an income as a high schooler because I think that's a very good thing to do. If you guys want more student spotlights, sure I will make them, but I don't think there was that much interest in it. And then obviously I can remake some of my old videos. And then of course we got some college stuff too, right? Like a day in my life now that I'm in college. And then of course like game show kind of things where I like ask people math questions and see if they get roasted. This, this one's kind of funny, I kind of want to do this one. I mean we just ask random Eek students to see if they ask me know how to answer any of these. We'll see how it goes. And, and yeah, you guys can read the rest. Whoops, I forgot to tab this boy in. But like, if you guys like any of these ideas, let me know. And if you guys have any suggestions for what you guys want, comment it down below or put it in the form in the description. I appreciate it. All right, so that's all I got for like the main YouTube stuff, right? But in addition to the channel, I wanted a way for you guys to support me directly because really through YouTube, you guys can watch it, you guys can comment, you guys can like, but really like, there's no way for you guys to directly donate to me. So I'll be starting a Patreon where I basically post weekly lifestyles and vlogs for those of you guys who are more like <laughs> hardcore Carrara fans, you know what I'm saying? And I think this is going to be epic because the Patreon gives me a way to like see exactly what you guys want and how much you guys are interested in the content, right? And then it also gives you guys a way to directly support me. So if you guys are interested, I put the link to the Patreon down in the description. And there's only one video right now, like one live solve, but I will be posting my first vlog this week and I'll be posting live solves weekly from then on. But remember, if you get your Patreon subscription earlier, okay, you guys get first dibs on what kind of stuff I do on the Patreon. You guys can leave whatever suggestion you guys want. And if, you, if you're a Patreon, I will listen to you definitely, okay? You have top priority. But just some of the ideas I got for the Patreon, because I got like a lot of things I want to do for the live songs, right? Of course, I got my Olympiad stuff. You guys know that I'm definitely going to do that. Then I'll probably try some other math tournaments because a lot of you guys wanted to see that kind of stuff. I'll try out Advent of Code, just because it's a different type of coding thing. Like, I don't want to do only use to go stuff. Code Forces, maybe. Dude, one of my friends literally was like, you should do IO shortlist on Carrara. And I'm like, how am I supposed to do that? But apparently there's some that I could possibly do according to my friend. So hopefully we'll see. We'll see if I could actually do them. Then we got like CTFs. We got some puzzles from Math Camp. We got like, I don't know. I could show you guys what I'm learning on the Patreon if that's what you're interested in. Chess puzzles, crosswords, whatever. Like I could live solve whatever the heck you guys want. All right, well that is all I got for like the channel kind of stuff, okay? If there's any like suggestions you guys have for something you want me to do differently, just let me know in the comments, right? Like I am very open to suggestions. So now that we are finally done talking about that, let us talk about my actual plans. Like my personal stuff, like all the academic stuff I want to do this year. So first we got the classes, okay? So essentially I'm taking five classes, which is basically the max you could take. Of course you could like ask them if you want to take more, but I'm not doing that my freshman year, okay? I just wanna I just wanna survive, okay? Let's let's, let's get past the first year at least. So I'm taking CS70, you guys probably know that that's discrete mathematics, like basically like AMC combinatorics kind of. Kind of. And then there's like E sixteen A, which is like E and M, it's like circuits and stuff. Then there's EE120, which is signal processing, which is kind of cool. I don't really know much about it, so that one I'm expecting to learn a lot from. And then there's EE147, which is MEMS and like micro electromechanical system, bro. <laughs> that is a mouthful. And of course, R1B, which is like reading and comprehension B. I don't know why I have to take that, dude. It's so triggering. It's basically called Lang Sus and it only counts for R1A, so I actually had to take R1B too. And I thought I would not have to take more humanities now I'm at Berkeley, but here I am. This is so sad. Also classes like literally started today and I had my first online lecture for EE120 and let's just say I was not particularly impressed. Bro, I zoned out in the first 10 minutes. Maybe that's just a me thing, I don't know. I can't pay attention in Zoom classes, so this is gonna be kind of a challenge. We'll see how it goes. Now, honestly, the rest of the stuff that I'm planning on doing is kind of up in the air cause I don't really know what will stick and what I'm interested in and that kind of thing, but I'm definitely reaching out to professors that I think are cool just to like see if I could get some research. Like, look at these dudes. Hold on, let me pull up some. Like, look at this professor. I literally, like, took her class, like, last summer. It was the cybersecurity one. And, like, she basically, like, does a bunch of applied cryptography and security stuff. It's super, super cool. I really wanted to get, like, into her lab, but she said she's kind of, like, full and that she doesn't have any new projects. 
Hopefully, though, eventually, one one day, we'll get it. There's also a ton more, like, there's someone named Joe Hellerstein, which is, like, for databases and that kind of thing. There's a Biomilisystems one. Oh, hold up. I need to show you guys this one. This one's great. Yeah, this one is so cool. Like, look at their projects, dude. Well, okay. <laughs> this is not, like, the best image, but, yeah. You can see, like, they got these really cool robots. Um, They even have this thing called Salto. <laughs> this epic robot is literally a robot that could jump. It's so cool. And all it has is one leg and, like, a spinny thing. It's cool. It's really cool. I'm also applying to this thing called CS Mentors. I don't know if I actually want to do it, but I think I think teaching is cool, right? I just want to try it this semester. We'll see. We'll see if I like it. And then in terms of clubs, there's like a ton of really cool clubs here. Like there's Calstar for rocketry. There's iGem for computational bio. There's like Formula SAE for like Mechie. It's basically building a race car, so that seems really cool. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it like this, brother, I can see like so much stuff. Holy moly! Well, you know what? Freshman year is the time to try stuff. So let's just try it, and then if we die, we die, okay? It's okay. Once we try it, we know what we like, then we can actually choose the good stuff and survive from there. <laughs> Bruh, famous last words once more. But it's okay, okay? I am famous for my famous last words. Well, anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a little bit into my head of what I wanted to do in the future. Remember, though, if you guys have any suggestions on all the YouTube stuff, like the Patreon, that kind of thing, like, let me know in the comments. I'm very open to suggestions, and I hope that you guys are happy with what I did, chose to do. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. But anyway, thank you guys for watching again, and see you guys next time.